The road to Las Vegas is getting more crowded with just two dates to Super Bowl 58. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Morgan Burrish. And I'm Megan Drakis, joined here by our sports reporter, Kyle Helms. And our crews are still in Vegas today getting you ready for the big game. ABC 17 News anchor Lucas Geisler and sports director Natalie Jones are live at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas tonight. Lucas, Natalie, football fans are really excited to potentially witness some history. Yeah, that's right, Kyle. I mean, no, very few teams have done what the Chiefs are setting out to do. That's back to back Super Bowl championships right now. Not since we saw the Patriots do it about more than a decade ago is the last time KC next in line to try it. I was going to say, they're trying to replicate one of the last great dynasties. When you think of football dynasties, Patriots are the first that come to mind. Of course, you got to think of the team they're playing here in the Super Bowl. 49ers had a good run of their own in the 80s and 90s, but now the Chiefs really looking to be that next great dynasty, and I think winning this one would do wonders towards getting that to happen. Four Super Bowl appearances in five years. They're looking for ring number three, though, this Sunday. You know, all that success Natalie for Can the Kansas City Chiefs has kind of lifted you know lifted other boats there in the region you think about some of the wins that Kansas City has had recently I mean they had the NFL draft you covered it right. you went to the NFL <laughs> draft time. last year you have uh, the women's soccer team the, the Kansas City current opening up their brand new stadium this year there on the Missouri River and the World Cup I mean, you think big this time. is a big spectacle. I mean, the bigger. World Cup, that's a huge spectacle. So there's some games being played in Kansas City coming up in 2026. And so I brought that question to a lot of fans out there. What have been their favorite moments in this season and as part of a, a, a greater story about the region of Kansas City? Where we tailgate, the, the Chiefs players come in, and I, I did high-five Travis Kelsey last season. So I haven't washed my hands since. And you shook it, so. <laughs> so now it's like I high five Travis Kelsey. Yes, yeah. yes. It started out a little rough, uh, but I always tell people playoff Mahomes is a different person. It actually put us on the map. I mean, uh, football is a, a American sport, and Mahomes bringing this good energy to Kansas City has put, put placed us on the map. It's it's just been insane. It's always something going on. It's a Chiefs town and. It always will be. Kansas City has, has risen to the challenge. I mean, they're welcoming this. I think they're excited to have it, and, and they're doing a really good job with all this uh, excitement that's, that's surrounding the town. Boy, wouldn't another Super Bowl parade bring some excitement as well? It'd be pretty fun, right? As well. So, I mean, give them <laughs> something for all those fans to go do again come later. But, of course, look, not every fan that's here is celebrating a team in the big game. So coming up later in this show, I'll bring you the story of one fan on a team that Kansas City had to dispatch Yikes. on the way here and just his thoughts on how he's dealing with everything being here. So stay tuned for that reporting live here in Las Vegas alongside Natalie Jones. I'm Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News.